Hello everyone, how are you? I just got back from the Bronze Lens Film Festival. Four days of just wonderfulness. I just wanted to let you all know that because of you I was able to go in lots of many different ways. I was able to go because I had something to share with them this year. I've been to the this festival before and you know I went to the Urban Media Makers Film Festival years ago and that's where uh, Desire's Kiss won best screenplay in 2013. I guess I can sum up what happened to me over the last four days uh, with a conversation that I had with a gentleman yesterday, I think it was. As I was going into my first session, walking, having a great time, actually feeling really wonderful yesterday morning, he stopped me and he said, you know, I've seen you walk back and forth here for the last two and a half days and you always have the most beautiful smile on your face. And I said thank you, but I also said, you know, a lot of people tell me I need to smile more. He said, well, perhaps you need to tell them that you need to be in the, in the correct environment. And that warmed my soul. I have always said that, and you know, as I go back and forth between the spaces that I operate in, between theology and theater, creativity, writing, or creative writing, I should say, versus like grant writing or business writing that I do, that there's always this sense of feeling like I'm at home, a sense of feeling, uh, you know how you are when you're around people that are like you, your tribe, as one of my friends calls it. Like I felt in February when I went to the Screenwriters Intensive in New York. These moments, I hope that they come closer together and they become my actual life. I love church. I love theology. I love the work that I do with that. And there's a certain amount of energy I get with that. I felt that when I was at um, Bishop Sharma Lewis's celebration at Ben Hill last week. But there's something more authentic or intrinsic, if that's the right word, when I am around creatives, whether it's theater, whether it's now film, it just makes me feel like I'm in the space I was created to be in. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And that came through in my smiling, apparently. I wasn't even aware that I was smiling. And so I wanted to share that with you and just share my deep gratitude to you for being supportive of me, not just Desire's Kiss, but supportive of Candy over the last however many years you have been supporting me in my writing and encouraging me, whether you have um, done so with finances or in-kind donations or just a word and certainly your prayers. I thank you for that. I have been posting on Facebook and I'll also do it on the other social media platforms I'm on, Twitter and Instagram. I've been po oh, my blogs and all that kind of stuff. There was so much that I got out of these last four days that it's going to take me a minute to get it all out because I do want to share it with you. But something else that I got out of the four days that I'll share now has to do with what you want to do, whether you call it your dream, whether you call it your vision, whatever you want to do. One of the uh, pieces of advice, inspirations, whiz nuggets of wisdom that we got over the last four days at the Bronze Lens Film Festival was to just do it. You know, the, the distance between, I think they said the distance between buyer and seller has never been shorter than it is right now. With the technology that's available, it probably this applies to any industry that you're interested in. You don't need to ask anybody's permission for the green light. That's a a film term for, yeah, let's go ahead and produce this thing, but you don't need anybody's permission to green light whatever it is you want to do. Start a company, write a book, write a play, write a screenplay, produce a film, whatever in the world it is you want to do, just, just do it. The other uh, piece of advice that uh, I heard repeatedly this weekend was that the only thing that is consistent is inconsistency. I'm guilty of it starting something, going through several hurdles, then hitting a really big one and stopping. So that is the biggest impediment to our success is the pausing and the stopping. So, you know, we need to just continue to do what it is we need to do, be consistent with it. And then when the opportunities come, we're ready for them. I think that um, just having a birthday as old as I am, 
that has never made more sense to me than it does this day right here in this moment. I have never felt more ready to embrace that piece of knowledge and advice and wisdom than I do right now. So go for whatever it is that you want and you don't need anybody's permission to do it. That's the wonderful thing. Be strategic, get your plan, work your plan, all of those sayings that we hear all the time, they really do have substance to them. I call them, I have called them um, names before that I can't think of right now and not really believing in them, but they make a difference. When we have our affirmations, they seep into our souls and they make their way out into the world as reality. So I'm starting to, starting to uh, lose my, not lose my train of thought, but I'm starting to kind of uh, babble a little bit and run on. But um, please know that I had a great time these last four days and I couldn't have done it without you. And I thank you so very much for being you. I look forward to our next steps of producing Desire's Kiss. I met some wonderful people, made some great contacts, and I look forward to uh, following up with them in the next week. And if you, uh, I'm sure all of you are probably uh, friends with me on Facebook, you can check out some of the pictures that I'll have with some of the uh, more uh, statements of wisdom and inspiration that I got from all the panelists and people that I've met in the pictures and such. So very great, very, very great festival, more than I ever dreamed I'd ever get out of it. So thank you again. I hope you have a really great week coming up and look to hear from, look to hear more from me soon. Talk to you later. Bye.